Another week, another weekly reset. This is the weekly reset where we go over the night wave, Tessian, all that stuff for the week. There'll be time codes in the description below if you want to skip to a certain subject. But before we begin, I would like to mention that I have another YouTube channel where I upload Warframe streams to. Feel free to check it out if you want to watch long form content of me just chilling, hanging out with you guys and whatnot. There'll be a link in the description below. Feel free to check that out. But let's get into it and start with Nightwave, shall we? Okay, first we have this one, Complete. 12 conduit in disruption. It can be normal disruption. It can be the disruption in the steel path. The game honestly doesn't care just as long as you complete 12 conduits. Then we have complete six invasion missions of any type. We have killed 300 enemies using a necromech without it getting destroyed. Now, this is an elite weekly. Fun tip, you can actually do this on Lua. There are two particular missions which I will proceed to show you guys real quick. There are two particular missions on Lua called Conjunction Survival, then the Conjunction Survival Steel Path. That, that, that I'm just on Steel Path right now, but normally they aren't that hard, so keep that in mind. Normally they're level 25 to 30 or 80 to 100, so yeah, and they allow you to your Necromex in the mission. That's why they are so special when it comes to that kind of stuff. Then we have exchange 10 ribbon slivers for ribbon mod, elite weekly. Don't know why it's an elite weekly, but it is. Then we have our regular permanent weekly mission. Kill 30 XMS, complete 15 missions, and kill 500 enemies. These are you will complete just by playing the game. Now, technically, you should probably finish this one before either of them, but who knows? If you want to get this out of the way, you could just do 15 capture missions. They aren't different missions, they're just missions. So, <clears throat> definitely keep that in mind. Then we have here Physique, I guess, Energy Siphon. No, I guess. It's not really my cup of tea, but if you want to catch them all, I guess you can pick up all of these. So that's an option. Had some alternate weapons and skins for, you know, different frames and helmets and what have you that you can check out and then here's where all the quote unquote good stuff lie you have Vauban parts they do how you get Vauban his blueprint it's actually in the market for credit so you can pick it up at any time in case you're wondering where his blueprint is these organ catalyst and reactor are fully built so you don't gotta worry about blueprint. 75 credits for fully built organ catalyst and reactor. Not too shabby. And then other bobs and doohickeys that you can buy. Now let's see what Hologram Teshin has to offer, shall we? If you don't have this option, there'll be a link in the description below that will take you to a video that will show you exactly how to get this option. But what he had today is, well, he always had this once a week and he had 30,000 endo for 150 
still essence. We are going to pick this up. Usually I don't pick up the endo because I have more than enough endo. But <clears throat> this time I am. It looks like we will have some farming to do on stream later on this week. So that's something to keep in mind. But I digress. This is what he has. Now I know it's tempting to just buy all the relic things you can. But the thing is that you can only buy 25 per week. And this week is Prime Goss Prime. So you want to save the relic packs for that. That's just what you want to do. In my opinion. You do what you want, but I recommend you save them for that. Now, let's check out the circuit, shall we? Necros is the option this week, followed by Valkyr and Oberon. Valkyr's easy enough to get, Oberon's annoying to get, but technically he does drop. Although he used to drop a lot more frequently than he does now. You used to get like a billion Oberon parts per mission. So I definitely recommend picking up Oberon if that's what you want to do. Collect all the frames. But if you like resources, Necros is your way to go. Because Necros is all about the resources, okay? Just all about the resources so my recommendation would be necro now the steel path okay this is honestly this is what i was waiting for here because i see i even don't have every single one because some weeks i skip them but this i definitely need and then I guess this I need as well. So, yeah. But if you didn't need any of them, you can just feel free to pick one of these four options. And then after you pick to your selection, you hit confirm. And then there you go. Oh, it's doing Reaper. I might actually do some of this stuff on stream. Now for the Archon Hunt. So this is the Archon for the week. Your percentage may be lower or higher. Mine is at 80%, which means for this particular Archon shard, I'm 80% likely for it to be a Talford. If it is a Talford, it goes back down to 20%. If it isn't, it goes up by 20% to 100%. So, yeah, that is always good. Then we have mobile defense, disruption, and the final showdown, which is an, basically Archon assassination, but the game doesn't count it as an assassination. So that's something worth keeping in mind. And now, last but not least, cause Garrison. Let's see what Chipper has to offer, shall we? Amber Archon Shard. Okay, I guess. That fine Chipper. As per usual, you'll have an Archon Shard because that's literally the only of his inventory that changes as of right now. And then, call. Okay, so... This had been the same call mission for ages for me because of the fact that call mission do not change unless you've completed it at least once for the week, which I do sometimes try to plan on doing call missions on stream. It just never usually works out. What's funny is one of you guys actually called me out the other day. I completely forgot that I wanted to do more call missions on stream, but but I'll I'll get around to it eventually probably, but 
with that said, I'm going to end it here. Hopefully you guys found it helpful in some way, shape, or form. We'll catch you guys in the future. Later.